What is going on, everybody? We're back on it. Hunter, Hunter, manga chapter 397. We're still in this uh, Nobunaga Phantom Troop flashback here. Uh, it's making me think either the current three that are with each other, Nobunaga, Sphinx, Phaeton, are going to die. Maybe this is spelling the end of Krolo soon. <laughs> or maybe this is just the doom of all the troop members. Because you know how anime goes when characters start getting more attention or flashbacks it usually spells like death is coming up soon so i'll be curious to see how that plays out um i think it's an interesting insight and i had people comment on it as well and i'm sure a lot of people picked up on it this is probably where Krolo got his you know fascination with taking other people's abilities kind of this these characters that he's playing um and then the flashbacks they've really built it up so i'm curious the switch that turns all of them like into the troop that we currently know and is it even all their fault you know is it like a bait and switch thing where like they were kind of wrong place wrong time was it really all their fault for what Karapika holds them you know to have done and I'm curious what the plan for the troop is do we get to a point where Karapika and the troop are gonna have that's what I would kind of like to see Karapika and the troop have to work together to take down T-Dog who Hisoka aligns himself with but I would love to see Hisoka align himself with someone you know, his regular shit, thinking he's going to get to challenge them or kill them or something in return. You know what he typically does. But I would love to see Sir Rydnik be a step ahead of that. And if he was the one to kill Hisoka, that would be a, a wild twist. But that's a long ways away. <laughs> we'll see what we got. Let's go ahead and get it. We're going to have another special screening. Oh, wait, hold on. Can you guys see my cursor? Should be able to. I'm recording, Mike. Cool. Turn this down. We're going to have another special screening of the power cleaners this week. Please join us, everyone. Are those three not here yet? Franklin and Nobunaga are always barely late. But Sarasa? Not showing up 15 minutes early? Unacceptable. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure she got scooped up. I'm going to look for her. Wait, I'll go with you. You don't know her wet nurses. Are they both going to walk up on? Slash, the girl gets taken out in front of... I haven't seen her since yesterday. We thought she was with you. Mm. It begins. Thank you for your patience. The start of the show has been delayed. She never returned to the hamlet after she left. She must have wandered off alone. Considering the conversation we were having, she must have gone to look for more tapes. Mm. What should we do? Crollo? Oh, wow. They're all looking to him already. Hey, there he is. The Red Cleaner. Thanks for coming, everyone, but I have some bad news. We have to cancel today's screening. Sarasa, who plays the Orange Cleaner, has been missing since yesterday. It's actually dope because you would think this would go over badly. You know, like, oh, they're going to boo. Like, oh, I knew this was shit. You know, tomatoes, tomatoes, boo. Um, but given the state of this kind of, like, city, this nation, and, like, the, these are... They know us personally. We're not like start. We're not the actual rangers. Like we're not the people on the screen. You know us personally. You know the hard times that we do. That I know the hard times you go through. You know who's missing. Hopefully that can bond them. They can all look for her. Something like that. She said she was going back to her hamlet, but we don't know where she went. As you know, there has been an increase in kidnap. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Yeah, there's been an increase in kidnapping of children all over Meteor City. We knew it was dangerous, and we let her go home by herself. It was my fault. We're going out to look for Sarasa again, meaning we need to cancel today's screening. I'm sorry. Re yeah, see? This is this is pretty cool to see. This is what I figured it would be. Like, we all know the same struggles. Like, Red, I'll look. Me too. Me three. Thanks, but it's dangerous. Gather by the hamlet. Talk to the wet nurses first. Ask the factory chief and the men to help too. Tell them Curlo's asking for... Wow, they're really putting a lot on this I was going to say, man, this kid's shoulders right now. We'll be the ones to find Orange. Yeah, Red, let's find Orange. We can do it if we work together. Krolo, go with Uvo. Use my bike. Krolo, don't cry. <laughs> we'll find her. <laughs> she must have gotten hurt and got stuck somewhere. This is... Yeah. It's interesting to see their, their differences. Like, their, the personality switches because the Krolo we know is very shut off, emotionless, calculated. But this is him as a kid, so, you know. 
the forest. She must be there. Gulp. We won't know who it is until we check. Wait. Are we insinuating that there's a dead child in this bag? Like, is that what's an... Is, this is a known thing with, like, a note? I mean, because they just nonchalantly said we won't know who it is until we check. I'll go look. Hey, that piece of paper, what does it say? Uvo, could you get that down? What's this say, Crollo? Get that down. Ready? Tell me this kid just didn't catch a, his friend's dead body in his hand. Okay, I'm starting to see the <laughs> the wheels turning on like what turns this from like a a weirdo group of theater play kids rallying their city together to like we're now mercenary killers for hire. Um it gives very strong um Oh god, why can't I think of the name? Oh, what the hell is his name? Payne's name. Anyway. His name with the uh, the village hidden in the rain. How it was always shitted on, you know, always trampled in war, but they flipped it and turned it into something. This is what this vibes gives me, what this might turn into. We're really just gonna open that up, huh? I haven't scrolled down, but there's definitely like a girl, f there's a something, f there's a person folded up in that. I can imagine this animated and that would just be fucked. Like it's a very like shaky camera, all goes to black on Crollo's face, crazy like violin piano in the back. And they they flip and stapled a thing to her head. It's Sarasa, isn't it? Crollo? Uvo? Fucking hell. Crollo answer me. What does this say? I won't say it. Oh, he can't re uh, yeah, I forgot Uvo can't read. What was that? Don't mess with me. What did those bastards who killed Sarasa write? I won't say it. I'll never speak of it, even if you try to kill me. What did it say? Now I want to know. If you want to know, learn how to read it yourself. Uvo, are you going to leave Sarasa behind? Machi? Oh, wow. And Machi picks her up. Do they try to go do something with her? Because we... I'm trying to think of, like, you know... A lot of nen abilities stem from your interest or something you might have needed or, you know... Do they try to go do something with her body? Is that where Machi gets her shit from? We can't leave her like this. It must have hurt so much. Oh, wow, she's actually speaking and not just, like, talking shit. Yeah. yeah. She must have been so scared. I'm sorry. What did it say? Wow, she's so pretty. She looks like she's still alive. It's called embalming. Oh. Is that what Machi takes interest in? It's a technique that restores and preserves the body to make her appear as she was when she was alive, but this was a miracle considering the condition she was in. Well, I'll have to thank the embalmer Renko. Ooh, someone's got a tape. Let's have Sarasa, Sarasa hold on to this. We've memorized the whole thing anyway. Renko, wow, Machi's taking interest. Okay, could I learn that too? Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I was just hinting at that. No, my embalming isn't a technique, but a special ability. Is it related to the light around your body? Oh, Nani. Whoa. You can see the aura, such pretty eyes. Precious kids, come anytime after you get permission from your wet nurses. Get on the last bus, tell them you want to go to Kiramori Valley and show them this, they'll take you for free. Hmm. I mean, that's a cool Machi side stuff right there. That's pretty dope. Uvo, will you wait three years? I promise. Three years for what? I'll get everything ready before I turn 14. Myself and the system here in Meteor City. I can't wait that long. 
I'm leaving today if I have to find out who did this to Sarasa. Is it because at 14 he's like not a part of the system anymore? He can make decisions and move freely or what? That would be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. What about traveling the world with me? What's going to change in three years? A lot. The world is on the brink of a communication revolution. With the right infrastructure in place, people all over the world can be connected at the speed of light. And he's a kid thinking about this too, by the way. A single individual can transmit something that will be seen by the entire world. It'll be a paradigm shift. So what? The culprit must have kept images. A message to attract attention, a crime scene created with a deliberate framing in mind. That location was like a theater. There were a bunch of cigarette buds where we were standing. Someone was recording images from that spot. Once they realize there's an opportunity to show off their work to the whole world, they won't be able to resist the urge. Evil will hide in the shadows. It will be the same in the connected future. Even in this network where countless rays of light transverse the world, there will still be national borders where authority will regulate their passage, but they'll find a way. We'll prepare that loophole for them. If we use the void here to build a place where they can evade police pursuit, criminals will come to us. True. This is very... Like, he's thinking about that shit, and he is very young. But, I mean, the conditions of your environment will make you grow up fast, mentally. Wait, what do you mean? We'll make a hideout for bad guys with new technology, and we'll pick out who we're looking for from among those who show up. Oh, that I get it. <laughs> I'll help, too. Three years will be over before we know it. Uh, this is how they come together. Common, a common feeling. There's a lot of things we gotta do to prepare. We need knowledge and the means to close in on those perpetrators. Oh. And the power and skills to take them out when we do. Oh, we're, do they not know that she's walking off? Yeah, and one more thing, something very important. What's that? If we're going to make it so there will never be a victim like Sarasa in Meteor City again, we'll need resolve. The will to devote our lives to this cause. In three years' time, I'll end up killing a lot of people. Hmm. But I know that's not what Sarasa would want. If I could ever see her again somewhere, I'd happily apologize over and over. Still, I'll never let them get away with it. Not in, the, not in this life. There's nothing in the universe that would enable such a reunion. I just can't imagine that people would do such a thing with how the current criminal justice works. I would genuinely feel any remorse. For their actions and their rep and make reparations. I'm going to live the rest of my life as a villain, one that the whole world will fear. Will fear. I'm going to redesign myself in this city to ensure the small-time crooks would stay far away. So he's doing all this. To, I mean, we we know the deep down reason. And like I said, it gives very strong like village hidden in the rain, um, Nagato pain vibes. Like the I mean, the Akatsuki took a whole different. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of really got up there, but the foundation of it, the Akatsuki was started like as a real, like we're trying to do better here. Same thing here, like Krolo's speaking, like he's speaking like I'm going to have to do dirty things, but I'm looking out for us, for the home, for Meteor City, so that this never happens to anybody again from where we're from. And he's willing to, to kill, he says. Hmm. Krolo, you're the leader. Wow, and just like that. I, would, I asked this question, I was like, how does his little pipsqueak ass get anybody to follow him? And I, some people have hinted at, you know, maybe he goes a government route when he gets a little bit older and he's seen in a higher up status in Meteor City, or, you know, he starts doing things that he gets like, this is like, we're locked in. This is it. You're the leader. With you as leader, I will follow you until I die. Oh, time skip. In literally half a panel, time skip. Damn. Together we are the spider, and there they are. Nobu in the back, Uvo, Franklin, Charnar. I'm guessing this is Machi here. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that was pretty fucked that they had to find her like that. But <sighs> you would need something that you know lights that spark, gives them that like uh. I thought, honestly, the coolest, the most interesting part of the chapter to me was the uh, the Machi stuff. I thought that was so dope. I was curious of 
her saying this here of we can't leave her like this. I'm like, oh, I wonder if this is what triggers her to th think about, you know, how she can save people from dying or fix people. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then we jump right into it. She can see the ore already. Now, what is... Have we seen a situation like that before? I'm sure we have. I mean, we've met so many skilled and end users and prospects. Have we... And we don't know Machi's backstory, but I'm assuming to this point in the story, she has no Nen skill whatsoever, and we don't know if she's ever been exposed to it. Have we seen somebody just raw dog being able to be like, you got, you're glowing. Like, just, they don't know what it is or why they're glowing or, you know, anything of that, but that they can see it. Have we seen that before? I don't know if we had, and then this just whole thing was, I mean, bro, the way that they have her all fucking... I mean, she's, she looks dismembered and stuffed. Mm -mm -mm. And like I said, this gives me very, like, um, uh, Mob Psycho vibes. Spoiler for Mob Psycho. Uh, was it season two? When he's walking in there thinking he sees, like, his family burned and dead. And uh, Dimple is telling him, don't look. And they're showing, like, that kind of camera, that type of music. This gives me very, like... Uh, Obito fighting those people as a kid and it's just so much like blood and despair and facial and cutscene and I'd love to see just this not visually animated because I don't need to see a little girl stuffed in a garbage bag but I would love to see like the, the camera angles they choose to go with the music the the color mm. Mm -mm -mm. and it's raining at the same time that that's just I mean this is this is the shot of the entire chapter here. this panel here is the whole shot um, so we see what gives them that spark to form and follow our man Krolo here. That Machi insight was dope. And I really liked this here. Again, like I said, very Hidden Rain vibes of all these kids here. They know the vibes. The people in, like, we know the struggle. We're all going through the same thing. So they're not going to boo him or complain or be pieces of shit that, like, they can't have their show or anything like that. Like, they get it and they're all down to look for her. I thought that was a very nice touch. I enjoyed that. And then the Machi stuff. I don't know. That was pretty... I mean, you guys let me know if you thought that was pretty fascinating. I enjoyed that a lot. And then this is the shot of it right here. And then we saw the... So I'm curious. Next chapter, are we flashing out? Or are we staying in this flashback until we see how they get to the point of Kurta clan massacre? Very, very curious if we stay in, like, because we took a time skip. I don't know if that's the three-year time skip. I mean, Krolo looks a lot bigger than three years there. Um, I'm curious, next chapter, what's that, 398, if we stay in this flashback or we jump back into the ship stuff. We'll see. Nice, nice chapter. Enjoyed it. I liked it better than the last chapter, so I'll leave it there. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, subscribe, as always.